So when we think about kind of food-wise, a lot of us have heard a lot of these foods that cause, but if we look at this, notice that most of these foods that cause leaky gut or different things are all things that are more man-made on here. When we start to look at foods that help, we start to notice, oh, wait a second, they're mostly things that are found naturally occurring. They aren't made from test tubes or anything like that. So once again, it's bringing things in that can help out a couple of the big ones. So bone broth, why do you think bone broth helps out with leaky gut? It's like the marrow. The collagen that gets pulled from the broth. They actually did the studies on this because when they were first starting to figure this out, they started to look at it and they thought, oh, it's, they started to see vegetable soup actually helped out with leaky gut. So they're like, oh, it must be the vegetables. So they pulled out all the vegetables and that's when they just did the broth. I'm like, oh, wait a second, it still does it. So then they started to research kind of what was happening there and they did find out it was the collagen. The collagen is what's needed to help repair those linings right there. It has to have those things to help it out. Raw, cultured, organic dairy, but notice conventional dairies on the other side on there. A lot of times once we start to pasteurize, once again getting rid of, it gets rid of the bad, but it also gets rid of the good. So it makes it so we don't have a lot of the natural stuff in there. A lot of or seeds, sprouted seeds, wild caught salmon, a lot of different things there. But when we think about that gut, there's a lot of things that people don't realize that's happened there. One, like we said, most of our immune system is made there, but two, serotonin. Anybody heard serotonin as that happy kind of hormone? It's made there in that gut. But all these things are having to fire off, so once we create those imbalances, all of a sudden these start to happen. We start to decrease that immune system and start to decrease serotonin. We start to do all these other things to the system.